In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a professional eco flyer in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have used very bright and very attractive colors. And you can put your logo here, the main uh, flyer title, you can add it here. And if you have some detail option along with the icons, you can add those details. And at the bottom, you can add the social media accounts. And on the right side, if you have more details, you can add it here so let's see how to do this in powerpoint to create the flyer add a new slide then go to design from slide size select custom slide size and from the drop down list select a4 and choose portrait here and click ok then i'm going to add few shapes here for that go to insert shapes and I'm going to select this one, which is the right triangle. Draw the triangle here, you can see here. And shape outline, make it no outline and give any color of your choice. For example, I'm just going to use this blue color. Now I want to give a curved shape for that. To give that right mouse click, go to edit points. And you can see here three points. I'm just going to select the right point and then drag it up. You can see here, I'm just going to drag up and then I'm going to select this and this also I'm going to drag up. So you end up getting with this shape. So you just do it until you get the perfect curve shaped here. I'm going to add another one. For that, select this, press Ctrl D and for the meantime, I'm just going to give some different color. Later on, I will change the color. So I'm just increasing the size, hold the shift key and just increase the size. You can see here and then just send to back. And if you feel that you want to increase or decrease the size again, you can reduce or increase the size. So you can see here I have added two shapes here. Now on to the right side also, I'm just going to add the shape for that. I'm going to select this blue press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to give a different color here and then I'm going to rotate it flip horizontal and just paste it here and just increase the size you can see here I'm just increasing the size and I can increase the width also here and then I'm just going to send this to back now I'm going to add one more for that again press Ctrl D to duplicate and again, I'm going to give some different color. Later on, I'm going to change the color and I'm just going to paste it here. You can see here and I can just send to back. But before that one, I cannot see because I'm just pasting here. Exactly. So I'm just going to make it a somewhat top and then I'll just say send to back. Now, if you want to increase the size again, it's up to you. You can increase it or right mouse click you can edit point i want to give more curved here let me just bring this and then i want to increase something like this here you can see here so i got this shape now i'm going to add the top part i'm going to add a rectangle for that go to insert shapes and select the rectangle and draw the big rectangle you can see here it should come here till this part shape outline i'm going to give no outline and shape fill i'm just going to give this dark teal color and then again i'm going to right mouse click edit point and this particular point which is the bottom left i'm going to drag it up you can see here i'm just going to put it here and again you have to make sure that this is properly aligned and then I want to give this also a curved shape for that again right mouse click edit point and select this particular point and how much you need you can adjust it you can see here I've got this shape and then I'm going to add one more press ctrl D and for this I'm going to give the same green color you can see here and I'm just going to send this back sorry and right mouse click edit point I'm going to bring this up here so it will not be visible 
and this one just drag it here so you can see here you got the shape again if you want you can adjust further if you feel that this is not properly curved you can adjust according to your requirement so you can see here all our the top and bottom designs are almost done now i'm going to add the image so add any image if you have or you can just download from the net for that let me just go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle and i'm going to add the rectangle covering the whole white space and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to send this to back and i'm going to add image onto this particular rectangle for that right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select picture or texture fill when i click the last time which i have used the image by default it is appearing here and then once after adding the image i'm just going to select this and i'm going to recolor this to white you can see here this also i'm going to recolor to white and then i'm going to give the shadow effect so that we can distinguish so i'm going to use this shadow effect and increase the distance you can see here for this also i'm going to give this one which is the top left again increase the distance a little bit this one i'm going to use the top right and again increase the distance and here also i'm going to give the same top right increase the distance so our basic design is almost ready it's time to add the text so let me add the text here the main title for that go to insert text box and i'm going to select a white font white color and i'm going to change the font as open sans or whatever font which you feel better you can do it and increase the size and i'm just going to type eco flyer increase the size right align and just put it here you can see here i have added again if you have some subtitles you can just add it below and then i'm going to add one more shape to add the icon the logo go to shapes i'm going to select this one you can see the last one uh not the last uh, but one the top corner surrounded just drag it you can see here there are two orange point this orange point i'm going to drag inside and this orange point i'm going to drag outside and shape of shape fill i'm going to give white and shape outline no outline and this also you can give the shadow effect and here i'm just going to add one more text i will just say your logo increase the size i'm going to give this color bold open sans whichever logo you have you can just paste your logo here you can see here and then here you can add all your social media accounts let me just paste it what i have copied before so i can just put my social media accounts here twitter facebook pinterest or instagram whatever you have and this side you can add more detailed text so i'm just going to select this text press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring it here and you can give the same color reduce the size and your subtitle i will just say you can see here you can just add your subtitle again i don't want this much big left aligned and i'm going to keep it here and then if you want you can just add the detailed text here for that go to insert text box and i'm going to just type equals l o r e m within brackets this will give me some latin text i'm going to give the same font open sans reduce the size maybe 11 and just adjust it accordingly and i'm going to justify it and put it here and this also will align it properly and then here we can add more icons if you have the icons or if you're using office 365 you can go to insert 
icons here or I have already provided one video last week where I have provided more than 500 icons which you can download from the my channel so let's add some icons here you can just go to insert and whichever you feel better you can just select particular icons for example let me just select one two and three so you can see here i have selected the icons and i'm going to give a white color to it and a shadow effect you can see here and I'm going to make this as 0.6 inches and I'm just going to add one by one you can see here this has been added make sure that it is aligned properly align left and then you can add the detailed text here I can just add add detail text here for each point you can just add the detailed text again if you want white color you can just select white color if, or if it is not visible you can use this color press ctrl d this is for this and this particular option it is not visible i'm going to make it white so you can see here our design is ready and if you want to print this one you can just simply go to file save as you can just select the pdf file from here so once you save as pdf you can give it to the printer and you can print it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.